So, despite her diagnosis, as you can see, she is same old, same old. Always looking for the foods. Right? Yeah. Hey y'all, good morning, happy Sunday. So welcome back to another vlog. Got a couple packages in and I wanted to kind of chat through them. So um, this coming week with work is gonna be pretty intense. So we are starting walkthroughs with our external auditors, basically going from like the very beginning of a cycle, such as like, you know, hiring someone new all the way through to how that gets into the general ledger and financial statements. And then identifying, you know, where the risks are in that process, seeing if there are controls that address those risks, and if there aren't, then implementing them. So all of that has been happening. Um, it's been a lot of work. This is like the real meat of, of things, and when things get evaluated. You know, I was preparing the control owners, and we're gonna do dry runs tomorrow um, with our internal group, you know, to, since this is the very first time we're all doing it for this company. Yeah, so it's gonna be a really, interesting week so i will share what i can with you guys you know obviously i'm going to be going back to the office so i got a covid test yesterday i'm negative luckily so thank goodness i can go back to the office i do have quite a bit of work to do so i'm going to try to keep this brief uh <laughs> how did annie do it? he goes so i'm going to keep this brief i'm trying to get some personal stuff done first before i jump into work so let's just jump right into it today i have to make juices bcbg Maxazavia. I don't know. I'm going to a wedding this coming weekend, so I wanted some cute shoes for that. So that's what they look like. Y'all know me, I love that. Like the pointy toe on, an, on a peep toe. Ooh, cute. Okay, perfect. And then I sized up too. But what I really wanted to show you guys was the Our Place One Pot. I don't, I don't know if that's what they call it. As you guys know, if you can see that pot right there, I think it's called their Everyday Pan. And I had bought that, you know, while I was still at my old house. So um, I already had a bunch of pots and pans and, um, you know, like frying pans and stuff like that. But I bought it because, you know, hashtag influencers be influencing me. This is like the only skillet pan that I have. Made like, you know, stews in it and it's fine but i need something kind of a little bit taller um you know for juicy's broth and like now that it's about to get colder and everything you know i'm going to want to start making things like sinigang and it's just it gets a little too uh too crowded in that so anyways got the same color miss liz hart has a and uh, of course when i bought it i didn't see her video or um yeah, I think because I, I'm behind on my subscriptions. I really like her, by the way. She has a 10% code, so I will link her code for you guys if you're interested. Um, I really like her a lot, so that's why. Um, but yeah, I didn't see it, so I bought full price, which it whatever. comes with a spoon with the ridges so that you can lay it on the side. This is the perfect size for me, actually, because also it, like, it's a, um, a Dutch oven as well, so you can put it in the oven. This is how big it is, and it's really light as well, like... And that's what one of my friends who was over yesterday, because um, we went to the 5K together, um, had mentioned that. It was like, that skillet is so light. So this one is too, but anyways, I'm gonna wash it and get her stuff going. Um, I have been pretty much working all day. So I started working around two o'clock. Took a little break around, you know, Juicy's dinner time and stuff like that. Finished working about 30 minutes ago. So it's been a good, like, I don't know, six to eight hour day. Just had a lot to do to prep for upcoming walkthroughs like I told you guys about. But tomorrow is actually, uh, did I mention this? It's my first day back in the office after being, you know, basically all on my own for the past month between COVID and then working from home for about two to three weeks while I was still recovering. So um, it was like great though, because you know, like my stamina is back. I do have like a little bit of a cough left, just like more so from like, you know, when I breathe deeply, I kind of like lose my breath again, but 
it's all good. You know, like the first day of school jitters, that's kind of how I feel right now. So I'm planning my outfits for the next couple of days just because it's gonna be pretty intense. So um, I just wanted to like kind of just have things planned out so I don't have to worry about that in the morning, you know? So anyways, this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. A dress I got off of ASOS like probably two years ago, two, three years ago. It's by the brand Influence. I like it a lot, um, except it's like it has a really deep V. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna switch this out to a black bodysuit so that I think it'll just look better. But for right now, I have the white one on. But anyways, this is what I'm gonna wear. The company that I work for is more of like a casual kind of environment, which I love. And you know what was crazy? I was thinking about the just like earlier that I was saying this stuff like earlier in my vlogs. I'll try to find that vlog and link it for you guys. I had said that out loud, you know, like I wanna work for a company where I can wear whatever I want pretty much, you know, within reason of course, and um, you know, do what I am passionate about, which is like socks. And so what I'm doing right now is like socks compliance. I'm not doing audit right now. Um, maybe in a year or two or three, I may go back into the audit side of things. The experience that I've had over my career has really prepared me for that and it's always kind of the, the route I've wanted to take. I'm kind of going off on a tangent. It's, it's late, I'm tired, so I should probably stop, stop talking. So anyways, um, on my Instagram photo, you're gonna be seeing my dress like this because you know, gotta make it look good for the gram, you know what I mean? But when I'm at work, no, you know, like it, it wraps all the way. Anyways, and then also because I did a 5K on Saturday, which I walked the whole thing, but I'm still pretty sore, I'm gonna be wearing my white sneakers you know what i am channeling that london gal that is the that is the vibe that i'm going for because it's like style and function you know what i mean like i got shit to do it's not that fun walking around in heels you know like trying to hide from me you can't hide from someone who's got sneakers you know what i'm saying so anyways okay i'm gonna stop blabbing because literally i think i'm just blabbing right now because i'm tired so i'm gonna go to bed this one here has been sleeping all evening which has been great because i can focus we're gonna get in bed soon so anywho Good night, y'all. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. So it's 8 p.m. Anyways, I've been home, took care of Juicy. I still have um, work to do because we are starting our um, external audit walkthroughs um, tomorrow. So today has been just a really busy day of getting the control owners Kind of doing like dry runs with them um, to prep them for the meeting tomorrow um, getting support together so that we have something to look at as we're going through with the auditors um and just getting them as prepared as possible to you know um just be as confident and as ready as they possibly can to be in front of external auditors especially for those who've never done that before so, because again i'm working for a company that is newly public so you know this is like the first year of doing all this stuff so that's what i'm i'm here for is to support them and get them ready for it so anyways i didn't sleep very well last night i don't know if i told you guys that um i don't know if it was like first day back at the office jitters or something kind of like the first day of school so i'm exhausted but um you know gotta keep trucking along um i got a few things i need to get done today for as long as i can until it becomes you know unproductive for me if i'm so tired um, and then I'll just work more um, early in the morning because, you know, I get up early with Juicy anyway, so I might as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to eat. <laughs> I actually uh, was going to try to cook for myself a lot this week, and I don't know if that's going to happen. So I uh, I ordered Thai food. So. Mm. This is a single life. Juicy, work, and eating by myself. Mmm. Hey y'all, happy, um, what day is it? <laughs> happy Tuesday. So I am home now. Hold on. Let me wash the juice in the bowl real fast so that it's not just crazy sound the whole time. One second. So it's the end, well, it's not the end of the work day. It's Juicy's dinner time. So I am home now. I'm gonna have to do more work um, here 
this evening. Again, I think I told you guys it's crunch time this week. Various projects that we have already, you know, going on. Um, so what? He wants to get done, but I am not glorifying busyness. There's truly a lot to get done and it's all very productive. It was a really big day because we had um, walkthroughs with our external auditors around two of the processes that I was leading. I was able to get some feedback from, you know, people as well and they told me, you know, had good things to say about my performance overall. I'm not saying that I'm perfect in no way, shape, or form, but I think I've told you guys this, I tend to think worse of myself than how most people think of me. So I was, you know, even though I felt like overall they went pretty well, I saw areas that I wanted to improve on. Um, but yeah, I, I got really good feedback on how things went, so that makes me feel good. Um, and then also, you know, got some feedback as well on what to improve on, which is also great because, you know, I don't ever want to get to a point where I think that I've, you know, I can't get any better because I think we can all always improve, always get better. There's always something to be work that we can work on, but at the same time, I'm also learning that it's okay to, you know, enjoy where you're at in life or where you're at um, skill set wise or anything. There's still, like, as much as it's, I want to continue striving for more, it's also okay to enjoy and I don't know if the word is bask, but bask in, you know, the current moment because, you know, I don't want to let moments pass me by as well. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, for me, I'm, I'm happy, you know, that um, it's been an intense few days and I've put in a lot of, you know, myself and the control owners and, and people who are, you know, who I'm working with have all put in a lot of time and effort into getting ourselves where we're at. So it just feels good to get some good, some feedback on that, of course. At the same time too, I don't want, I'm trying to keep myself very mindful of like, okay, that's great. That doesn't mean I need to stop pushing, you know what I mean? Just because I'm getting good feedback does not mean I get to, you know, relax or stop doing what I'm doing. That For me, that's validation of I'm on the right track you know, stay the course, like my gut instincts are right. Yeah, just to continue pushing forward, right? Like I'm not gonna get comfortable just because people are saying nice things to me. I'm gonna keep pushing and just keep keep on my path, you know, which it's nice though as a gauge for me to know, do I keep doing what I'm doing? Do I change something? You know, stuff like that. So, hey, hey cutie, hold on. Oh, it's because I'm talking so I didn't get a chance to prepare your stuff. Can you wait? She's like, <laughs> She was like, she's already ready for her insulin. And she's like, mom, you've been talking for too long. So anyways, y'all know that this is kind of a tougher season of life. And one of the things I think that has been really helpful, one of the best pieces of advice is whenever everything started kind of like going down the path, or not everything. Okay, let me not be, you know, let me not be general in that regard. But, you know, when my marriage truly started to fall apart, um, one of the best pieces of advice is, you know, focus on those rays of light that you get in your life um, because, you know, that's going to help get, get myself and for anyone who's also going through a tough time, you know, like focusing on those rays of lights will help get us out of, you know, the tough season that we're, that we're in. <coughs> sharing it not to be like look at me i'm so good whatever it's more that's a ray of light for me and yeah you know i'm gonna enjoy it whatever i'm gonna talk about it so i'm gonna give juicy her insulin and then um i think you know i've been wanting to not order doordash too much but i have to work some more so oh, i don't want to use the time and i time on cooking so that's you know annoying but it's fine um so i'm probably just gonna order something so i can wash my hair and then um you know keep working and stuff so yeah um i'm enjoying my work right now i really like it what's crazy is i feel like everything that i've gone through in my career um has led me to where i'm at right now and it's kind of it's kind of crazy kind of like it kind of gives me goosebumps just like you know I 
I think I've shared this before with you guys that like I truly feel like things happen for a reason and I know some people don't believe that but for me I think because of my mindset of looking for the lessons and whatnot and and for that for that reason I think you know things happen for a reason because I've learned so much stuff over you know the course of my life um, and the experiences that I've gone through so I feel like it's led me to where I am right now and has really prepared me for that you know and so um, I'm enjoying it and um, even though it's difficult at times and don't get me wrong like my work and the you know the work that I put that I put together it's open for people's feedback it's open for people to poke holes at like that's what that's what happens right um, but that's a normal course of business that's normal right that, that just happens and I don't know everything I'm not perfect so of course I'm always open to like feedback and, and whatnot from others I guess I'm just saying that because I just want maybe I just want to put that thought in y'all's head I'll do an, I actually want to do a video talking about that topic specifically because you know who would have thought yeah you know, this is kind of where I've always wanted to be you know uh, I think I've talked about it in other videos but you know I kind of always had faith that at some point in time I'll get there um, so it's kind of nice to finally be in that position where all those you know twists and turns in my career like being in public accounting doing socks being an internal audit all that stuff has like got me to where I am right now and it has really um, you know I'm well equipped because of all those experiences stop laughing okay <laughs> I'm stopping stopping laughing okay okay yeah yeah okay I don't know what I want to eat today. I really want a pumpkin cheesecake, but then at the same time, I'm like, girl, I haven't worked out in over a month that I probably need to cool it. Come here, baby. Come here, my darling. My darling. Oh, my darling. Stay right there. Stay, ma'am. Okay. Juicy's going to get a glucose curve tomorrow, so stay still, please. Good girl. I know. I know you did so good. Want some water? Oh. And then she is ready to relax. Ma'am, ma'am, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, 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 uh. No, hey, well, y'all can see she's feeling fine. Hey, bless you. Please don't do that. Girl, you're so silly. She's like a little pup. Yeah, you're like a silly little pup. I know, I had, um, I, girl, nope. Be careful, I don't want you coughing. You got a spruce? Exactly. Anyways, y'all. So that is why she's not allowed to spruce. You guys saw it triggers her coughing, so. As much as I want her to enjoy it and have fun for a little bit, you know, like, it doesn't help when she starts coughing and stuff, because, yeah. So anyways, you had a little fun, and now you can relax. So yeah, I'm going to order some DoorDash now and wash my hair and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but one of my really good friends is coming in from out of town. So I'm taking a couple days off from work um, at the end of this week. So I'm really excited. I am pretty sure she's open to being on the channel. So I'll be able to share her with you guys. Uh, me and her have gone through similar life experiences. So it might be fun to, you know, for y'all to, for her to chat with one of my girlfriends. So, all right, I'll see you later.